Come and have a sit down, dear. Come and speak to the public. <laughs> Come and speak to the public. It's been a while, isn't it? Hello, and uh, yeah, welcome to another indoor lockdown video. And I know we are going to sound so repetitive, aren't we? And you're probably thinking, what the hell has he got in front of him? Well, today this is my uh, Fuji Arsenal. Um, it's just increased by one um, two weeks ago. Um, yeah, this is the Fuji Arsenal. And I thought I'd show this just because I like buying stuff. <laughs> I've got a load of Canon gear. Uh, all my Canon gear is up for sale and has been up for sale now for a little while. Um, because I know it's the wrong time of the year to, you know, to sell stuff. Um, but I thought I'd just show you um, some of my kit or what it is I've actually got and I don't use it all um, but I've got it at hand and uh, much to the uh, dismay of the wife <laughs> um, you haven't seen it for a while have you so say hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> she's like I've just dragged her out, here. Just dragged me out here right so what have we got we still got my X-T1 um, XT1, I've just recently used that in a video I've done. Uh, it's actually out this morning, but you will probably be seeing this three or four weeks in the future um, where I've done light and shade. So I had the Fuji XT1 out, and uh, yeah, it was quite good to actually get using it again. I never ever got around to selling it because it was just something that used to sit on my shelf. I thought what I might do with this, I might actually get this converted to a infrared camera. So we will see. Um, otherwise, it will sit on the shelf and just gather dust. Um, and I was using this lens on it, and I'll get to that one in a moment. Um, my X-T3, this is my um, camera of choice now. This is the one I go out and use all the time. This is the one you've seen me using for ages and ages and ages. Um, it's sort of taken over from the Canon. Yes, I still know the Canon is a far superior camera, the Canon 5D Mark IV, but I enjoy using the Fuji, and it looks pretty. So what more do you want? Uh, I've never really shown this. This is a flash gun that I use for the... Fuji, it's made by Mickey, Mikey, Mickey, or whatever it is. Um, it's the MK320, and it does actually work on the top just in case you want a little bit of flash. Um, but if I do sell my Canon flash guns, I will be replacing it with a much better, more powerful uh, flash gun in case I need to use it for indoor stuff. Um, so that's my, my camera of choice. Uh, standard lens I would be using on the camera, you see most of the time now, is this one, which is the 16 to 55. Um, that is the one I seem to use on the camera all the time and that is the lightweight brother for it. That's the kit lens that comes with it normally and it is a very, very, very good little lens. It's the 18-55, to I think it's a 2.8 to f4.6, something like that. Um, I will drop you all the descriptions on the side there as of when I go through them all. Um, but so yeah, let's start with, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. This is a Fuji adapter, so I will come back to that when I get to these two. It's not actually a lens, it's actually an adapter. So the first lens that I use or have had, it's the 18mm. This is the 18mm Prime, it's a uh, f2 lens, so it's, you know, it let a lot of light in. It's a very fast little lens, um, and it's very retro looking with a little square metal uh, lens hood. It's got a 52mm diameter filter ring, um, it's really good. For low light and you know if you're gonna do stuff indoors when I first got it it was to go on there and it was to do a little bit of street photography wide angle and they also backed it up with this one which was the 35 mil and this is the f1.4 this is a super super fast lens um, it's really good in low light it's it's an absolutely fantastic low light it's a 35 mil which is equivalent to about 50 mil so you're seeing through this is what your eyes would naturally see uh, as a focal distance as far as I know and I believe I'm not very technical you know all that uh, this has a 52 mil filter ring as well um, that backed onto either of these two cameras makes an absolutely superb fantastic street photography lens um, really really sharp really nice to use and looks very retro on the front of any of the cameras um, there is an actual camera missing and we'll get to that in a moment let's say the xt1 i had the xt2 and then the xt3 this is the samyang um, this is not a fuji lens but it's a fuji fit lens this is a samyang um, 12 millimeter prime 1.2 so this is the fastest lens i've got on here 1.2 it lets in an awful lot of light um, or should I say it's an f2? I'm going to tell you a lie there. It's not a 1.2. I just read it off the front. It's actually an f2, so that's the fastest lens I've got. The 1.4. This is an f2, so I use that for Astro. Very, very sharp for Astro. Very, very good, but it's full manual. There's no automatic controls at all on that whatsoever. Um, we've got a bumblebee flying around. 
This, like I said, this is the um, 18 to 55. This is the standard kit lens that most people would buy. Um, like I say, f2.8 up to f4.6, I think it is. Um, it's got IS image stabilizer, whereas these haven't. None of these are image stabilized. This is image stabilized um, and <coughs> autofocus and all this, all the stuff that you know, all singing, all dancing. It's a zoom lens, um, quite lightweight, very compact, but it doesn't have any water sealing on it. Um, and on the front, I've got my, my standard filter mounts at the moment. Uh, I've got the case ones on there. Um, so that's the one that comes with it. I've been using that a long, uh, you know, a long time, and it works really, really well. It's quite sharp. It's quite good, and a, a very good lens to have in your kit. Um, it is still going to be used. Uh, I've got the big brother to it, but it's still going to be used if I need a lightweight, small kit, something that I can just run up and down uh, the street in, or do a little bit of street photography, maybe. Uh, next to that I've got this one, this is my one of my favourite lenses, you've seen this all the time, again this is image stabilised, this is the 10-24, uh, it's another zoom lens, um, it's got a filter ring on the front at 72mm, uh, this is 58 uh, I think that one was 67 um, so this is 72mm, uh, um, and I have adapters on all the front to make them up to 77, so you can see this one's now 77, this one's now 77, and so is this. Uh, just so that all my filters then fit. So yeah, back to this. It's a 10 to 24. I think it's an f4 lens straight through, if I remember rightly. Like I say, all the details will be on the side of the screen there for you. Um, very, very good. It's a standard kit wide-angle lens, and you've seen me use this loads and loads of times for blowing out all the foregrounds and getting all the foregrounds and everything sort of really pretty big and shapely in the front of the pictures and uh, yeah absolutely love that lens I wouldn't be without that one at all in the kit if I had to drop all the lenses that's the one I would keep on its own because I just love the way it works uh, this one's a recent one um, it's been in the basket now for quite a long time but uh, it sort of superseded this but it's a big heavy lens compared to that um, as you can see it's three times the weight three times the price and yeah not three times the lens um, it's a 16 to 55, so it gives me slightly wider than that. Um, but again, it's a really heavy lens. This has a 77mm uh, filter ring. Um, and again, image stabilised. Uh, in fact, no, I tell a lie. I'm going to take that back on way. This is not image stabilised. <laughs> this is image stabilised. So this. this is not. This is a big downfall for this lens. It's not image stabilised, but I use it on the camera, on the tripod. Um, but it, what it has got, has got, it has got, it's got a um, diaphragm or a, whatever you want to call it on the back. Um, it's water sealed, so it, it should be water sealed, the same as, if I remember rightly, not that one. So there's true Compton style. We never get it right. So yeah, uh, that's the new replacement to this one. But I won't be carrying that up big mountains because it's really heavy. This one is a bit of a 50/50 lens. Uh, it's 55 to 200 mil zoom. It's the one I bought originally uh, when I first got my small kit, and I still use it if I'm going to take out a small kit. That's my small kit. Um, this is image stabilized. It's very good. It's pretty sharp. It's got a 62 mil filter ring, and the reason I call this is 50 50 is because it's half mine <coughs> and half the wife's. So I'm going to leave that one there oh, for her because she will explain that in a minute. <laughs> it doesn't tell me these things. She's been using this before and you've seen her using it. Um, but yeah, she'll explain that in a moment. I actually used, when have I used yeah, that Yeah, you've one? used that a few times. When yeah. have I used that? You have used it. Several times. She's going to get in an argument now. When, when, when? She has used it. She does use it occasionally um, when you want a longer lens. This one, I this is now part of my walking. kit. This, this replaced this one. Uh, this is the... Um, 50 to 140 it's not as long as this but this is seriously 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 super sharp this i think is the sharpest lens out of all of this lot in here this is fantastic it's an f 2.8 full for all the way through um very very sharp very very good it's got a 72 mil uh filter ring on the front and it is absolutely blistering it really good it's fully image stabilized very very sharp it's got a brilliant mounting bracket on the bottom so it's, it's really good to carry around that is one hell of a lens um, but not the cheapest of the bunch but it is compared to this a lot heavier again you're looking at three times the price probably at least twice but definitely need three times the price and twice the weight um, so yeah it's just absolutely fantastic lens this would be your equivalent to your 24 uh, the your 7200 f2.8 that's your equivalent in the Canon or Nikon. Um, it is absolutely fantastic. This is the recent, the recent piece of kit to the bag. 
Um, the wife's over the moon. I bought this, and I've got no, it on I'm one gonna, condition. I'm going to ask you a question on film. <laughs> I'm gonna, I've got this on one condition that my Canon 400 mil goes. This is the 100 to 400 mil lens. Um, this I've wanted this <laughs> right from the beginning, and could never really justify owning another 400 mil lens. But because I'm selling my Canon gear, this is going to replace it. I shouldn't have bought it before I sold the other one. But once the other one's gone, I'll have to put the money back in the bank. Um, but yeah, fully image stabilized and it's a f i think it's an f 4.6 to 5.6 something like that or f something like that it's about 4.4.6 4 to 5.6 or thereabouts like i say all the details will be on the screen um absolutely fantastic it could do with a slightly bigger um hot shoe mount on the bottom but i've got an l bracket on there it gives me something to hold on to but when you think that's a big heavy lens that is the mount on the bottom of that and that's the mount on the bottom of that why have they put a massive mount on there and a small mount on this one it doesn't make any sense whatsoever it really doesn't uh, this is a 77 mil uh, filter ring one of the bigger ones um, absolutely fantastic and if I can get the lens hood off it sort of looks something like that when you get it out and oh, when you get it out and extend it it's an absolutely cracking piece of kit I haven't really used it much because obviously we're in lockdown and it's been here since the doors were closed so I need to get out and use it it's the sort of lens I will keep probably in the van or the car um, for when we are out and about and I can go and do you know catch a bit of wildlife or an odd deer running around or a rabbit or something like that so that's what I've got that lens for and again if I sell my Canon gear and we do some sports this will be my sports lenses um just to replace the canon ones so that's pretty much my arsenal i know it's a big kit it's a full kit i don't use it all all of the time um but they've all got a purpose and they will all get used as and when um, i need to use them so any questions on any of this lot please do let me know i'm now going to hand you over to the good lady wife mrs c and she will explain her kit for you um, I'll just make you a little tiny weeny bit of space just well, on the edge of the table. That. Is that too much space? Yes, too much. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll hand you over to Mrs. C and she will explain to her what she uses as a kit. Oh, just on this one, let me just re uh, mention this. This is a 1.4 converter. This fits on the back of these. So that goes on the back of there and it basically extends that lens um, by 1.4. And. Uh, it just makes that a bit longer. I don't know what the maths is. I don't know what all the um, sizes and dimensions are. But if that's a 140, that would probably take it up to about 200 mil ish maybe. Um, and it also fits on the back of this one. Uh, again, it will take it from a 400 mil possibly to a 580, is it? Um, when I can get it on there. It will go on. There it goes. Um, that will take it to, a, I think it's a 580. Or something like nearly 600 mil. <coughs> on the Fuji film, so that's uh, plenty of reach. So yeah, something else, it's not something I use very often again, like I said before, um, but I will do. I'm gonna start using them and make sure I get some longer images. So that's what that is, a little 1.4 converter. Uh, Fuji could do with bringing out a two or a three times converter. It'd be very nice if you could do that, and if you do, chuck me one and I'll uh, review it for you. Thanks. Right, over to you. <laughs> before you, no, just before I show you the, my massive kit, that I massive have. kit she carries right. I just on film you can explain yourself because the reason why you swap from Canon to Fuji you said was to cut down on the amount of weight yep so explain to your viewers why then why are your lenses because I was under the impression that you had about five lenses Right, one, two, three, yeah. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you can now explain yourself why. Right, so the, so the 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 size my Fuji and the kit is definitely <laughs> lighter. Um, just feel the weight of that. Yeah, well, that's without a lens on it. I know that's going to so be so that light. is lighter than the other camera. Yeah. There you go. Job done. So why then? Why then? <laughs> when you've got that in your bag, you've got that in your bag. Why then? Are you going to fill it up with all this? I don't. I won't. This doesn't all go in my bag. Um, I have just done a, what's in my bag um, previously. I'll put the link up for you somewhere up in the top of the screen. Um, what I carry around on a day-to-day -day basis, which is basically uh, that camera, that lens, <coughs> that lens, and possibly this one, but definitely this one. So what goes in my bag all the time 
is uh, that little section there. So these, this is just so you can use it. <laughs> this is going to be kept handy for when we are out on our about on our travels, and uh, yeah. So yeah, if you want to watch what's in my bag, check out what's in my bag, and that's that's basically what I carry around on a daily basis. So go on in, dear. I know you want to show them your kit, and uh, this will take all of about let the two public minutes. see what it is you carry okay. compared to what I have. So. As you'll, you will all know, put this your XT1. Yep. Yep. Paul started off with this XT1. Then bought the XT2 on the like a big selling point that just think you can have the XT1 day, you can get to grips with that. So I had the XT1 for a while. Really nice that I let her have okay. my camera. Yeah. <laughs> so then he decides he wanted to buy the XT3 mm -hmm. with the selling point of just think you could upgrade now, you could have my XT2. And, and so, you know, your, your photography will be better. So, basically, the summary of my kit is 1X-T2 with 18 to 55 mil lens, which pretty much stays on the camera all the time, to be honest. Um, I've actually found this in the cupboard that he, they did kind of re-gift to me. I'm sure it m must have been a, a, a time when he bought one of these other lenses. Um, which is why I think that you're getting confused with your big lens because I've got an 18 to 135, yeah. which I don't actually, I don't think I've, I've used this you've very You've used it a rarely. couple of times. Um, when I first bought this, the X-T1, I actually bought this lens. This is the 18 to 135, <coughs> and it is actually got a rubber seal, so it's weather sealed. It's image stabilised. And it's got a good range between 18mm, which is quite wide, up to 135 which is on the Fuji is about 150 170mm, something like that, is it? And I thought it would be a good all-round, everyday, usable lens. But it's just not as sharp as the standard kit lens, which is there uh, or there. It's just not as sharp. It's not as good. Fuji's now brought out a new one. I think it's an 80 to something. It, it, it's a slightly different lens. But this just was not cutting it. Um, Denise wanted something with a little bit more reach and before I bought these because I used to use this I gave this to Denise and said basically you can use this because it'll take it from a 55 to 135 so that's pretty much why you ended up with that one but, I, but I if you want a one if you want a one travel lens to go everywhere and do everything with a bit of zoom on it that's a, that's a good lens to have just one lens all on its own um, something you just don't use it now do you it's just it's in the bag um, take it every, every now and again but at least she's got but... at least two lenses and 50% of this lens. <laughs> oh, listen, I'm this, getting a bargain after this is the This you. is the other lens like this. She does use this one now. Now I've got the longer lenses, and especially now I've got this. Um, if I'm not walking a long way and I'm not going up a mountain and I have to take something lightweight, Denise will use this for longer reach. Um, it's the 55 to 200, just so she's got that, <laughs> that range to actually zoom in on, a, <coughs> on an animal or sports and stuff like that. Um, not that I will, to be honest. You will, you, know, you have used it. You've used it a couple of times, but not very often. Um, we don't do a lot of sports photography and stuff with um, the Fuji kit. We've done an awful lot of event photography, haven't we? We've done event photography, sports photography for the MSV and things like that. When we've done that, we've been using the Canon gear, haven't we? So yeah. we haven't really used the Fuji for other stuff other than the landscapes that, we, we, that you watch us do. So we will start using it. So she probably will start using this. Again, if she needs something sharper and more powerful, Denise knows she can use any of this kit that's here. I don't, you heard I, that. I don't work on it, but you know what, you know you can. Mm. Uh, she's used the 18 mil when we've done low light stuff indoors before now. So she can use this kit. There's one lens, one thing she does want, and I'm sure that eventually I'll get around to buying a one. She wants a wide angle lens. Now it seems really stupid that we've got two 18 to 55s. Why can't she use mine when I'm using the other one? Well, I've only recently purchased this. I've only had it, I don't know, six months or so. So this is the one that's been on there. And again, if we're both going for a walk, we need one for each camera to go for. You know, if we are going for a very lightweight walk with one single camera, one single lens in our bag, that one? that's the same as that. Yeah. But this is the 10 to 24. This is the one lens that Denise <laughs> says she really would like. Um, and I don't have a spare one to use, but she has actually used it when we've been out together. So eventually I will be buying another one of these. So if you've got an, if you've got a 10 to 24 and you're selling it at a decent price, let me know. 
and I'll buy it and for I'll her. Show you, and she'll show you how to use it. <laughs> and she'll show you how to use it. And yeah. Show you how are to you going to? I will, I will say this one thing. Um, every time, because she says I give her my hand me downs. Yes, I had this. The hand me down was this. Uh, no, sorry, I, I had Feel this. Afraid. I bought this. The hand me down was this. So then I bought this. The hand me down was this one. So yes, I will be getting the XT4, so don't ask me the question. I will be getting it, but I will only be getting it if I sell my 5D Mark III, 5D Mark IV, the 7D. If I sell my Canon cameras, I will replace it so I've got the two decent bodies to use. Um, just in case I have to do a wedding or I have to go and do some sports photography for you know that someone asked me to do, I need that backup so I can have a big lens and a wide lens and shoot with the two. Um, it's just a, I don't. It's not a necessity, but it's just the way I shoot, um, rather than flicking lenses. So I will be getting the XT4 as and when, but until that date, I will not be replacing this. And unfortunately, when I do get the XT4, this won't be the hand-me-down. Um, and what I was going to say was, I didn't get on with this, the XT1, but when I passed it to Denise, she got better images out of it than what I did. And then when I passed on the XT2 from when I got the XT3. She was doing the same again. She was seen to be producing better, sharper images out of that. So there's a lot to be said for it's not the gear you own, <laughs> it's what you know. And it seems to be that I'm teaching her more than what I'm forgetting, or I'm forgetting more than what I'm teaching her. So yeah, it's not the gear, it's 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 the person behind the camera. And she's, you do like, you actually quite enjoy the XT2, don't you? Yeah, it's, to be honest. It's um, the back, I keep on forgetting about that back button. We, focus, yeah, we've got the camera set up, up for thinking. back button focus. And what I'm going to do after this video finishes, I'm going to do another video um, about my camera setup. So stay tuned for another video coming up whenever it is next week, week after whatever. I'm going to do how my camera is set up for my personal use. So yeah, the, this has got a back button focusing, the same as mine. Um, it just basically means once you focus on the back of the camera, um, you don't have to touch the focus. Compose. But yeah, she's just getting used to doing that with something that's a bit alien to you, isn't it? Yeah, I just um, keep forgetting, that's all. Yeah, just keep forgetting it's there. So yeah, that's that's Denise's kit. Uh, one the, bag of filters. Two that's lenses, it. yeah, little set of filters. 50% um, of that lens, so there's hers, and this is kind of yeah, that needs to sit Mine. in the middle. We can both put our hand on that then, shall we? <laughs> so yeah, that, that's all I was going to do. Just I was going to make this quick, but it's probably turned out longer than I thought. Um, I hope it's been of help. And yeah, if you have got any questions for me or Denise about any of the camera gears we use, even the Canon stuff we've had in the past, but we are now Fuji, um, only because it looks pretty and I like using it, really, more than anything. Uh, good price for what they are, for what I get out of it, there's a, they're a lot cheaper than what the Canon stuff was. I know, you know, to buy this at whatever it is, brand new, is it 12, 13, 14, I don't know what it is brand new. Um, but to buy the equivalent of that in the Canon, you're looking at, at least half, 50% price. Same with all of them. The, the, the lenses and the Fuji stuff is a lot cheaper than what the Canon L lenses is. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe and share this for anyone else that's into Fuji stuff. Or wants to know anything and uh, yeah stop rambling on ciao for now see you on the next one don't forget the next one's going to be how i set my camera up dusty, dusty. <laughs> right time for a brew